It was one of the most heartbreaking stories we have ever shared, I believe, on our show. 11 years ago, we, sh we saw the chilling headlines about a little girl from Wisconsin. We never knew her name. She was only known as the girl in the cage. Take a look. The date was April 3rd, 2000. The show was called Tortured Children, and I could not believe what I was hearing. A little seven-year-old forced to live in a cage in her basement. So is this the cage this size? I think it was a little smaller, actually. It's unimaginable because, as everybody knows, I have dogs, and um, I had a cage this size when I first had little puppies, and I thought, too small for the puppy. It happened in the quiet town of Brilliant, Wisconsin. Police discovered that Michael and Angeline Rogers had been brutally beating and starving their four children for years. Authorities found out after the Rogers struck their nine and 11-year-old sons with wooden rods and kicked them out of the house. The older boy walked barefoot and coatless in 30-degree weather to the police station and told his horrifying secret. Their seven-year-old sister was being kept in a small wire dog cage in the family's dark and freezing basement. She was beaten with wooden clubs and was barely fed. The boy said when his sister cried, his mother called the girl a little pig and sprayed her with freezing water from a hose. The boy also recalled finding his sister stuffed in a plastic container under a basement shelf gasping for breath. She was covered in her own feces. The police rushed to the Rogers' home and rescued the girl in the cage. So the parents were charged with child abuse and sentenced to one year in jail. It has been 11 years since we did that show, and we wanted to find out what happened to that little girl. Did she even survive? And if so, what kind of life would she have having lived in the cage all that time. Well, her name is Chelsea, and she's now 21 years old, and she's here today. Welcome, Chelsea. <laughs> so I was, I was just watching you watch that tape. Have you seen that? Um, I have seen bits and pieces of it, but not that whole clip. Mm -hmm. What's it like for you watching that? It's. It's sad. I can't even explain it. It's just incredibly sad that something like that could happen. Mm -hmm. And happened to you. When you watch it, do you think of that as happening to somebody else, or do you think that happened to me? It still feels like um, it happened to somebody else. Mm -hmm. that what do you remember about that time? It's so hard to talk about because my memories are so fragmented and um, we didn't have mirrors or anything, so I didn't know my age. I didn't know what I looked like. Um, I have memories that people told me, that people um, wrote about, so it's hard to know what really is in my memory. Do you remember being physically in the cage? Yes. And do you remember um, how long you were in that cage? Is that where you lived? Um, I was in there long enough to have to go to the bathroom, to be hungry, to um, want to get out and stretch my legs, so. Do you remember why your mother would put you in the cage? Or was it your mother, your mother, your father, both? Both. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why they did. Did you, did you think that that was normal? At the time, I was young. It was my family, loyalty. I didn't know what was right what was wrong. But I do remember in first grade, I had a teacher who just had a baby girl, and she had pictures on her desk. And um, this little girl had a bow in her hair, and she had a little dress on. And I would always tell my teacher that I wanted to be just like that girl in the pictures. In the first grade, you right. would say that. And so what did, you, what did the picture look like? And the reason why I'm asking this question is because Oftentimes, people cannot be psychics, obviously. We're not psychics. Yeah. But I want people to know what the signs look like. Like recently, we had two, uh, a, a set of twins who were here who were being molested for years by their brothers and their father. Did you all see that show? And one of the neighbors said that the children would come to her house and they would be hungry. And they would see that the house was always a mess. And they would see signs, but they didn't know that those signs meant molestation. So 
the reason I'm asking is because the signs are always there. People can't be psychic, but when you see that something is not right, what would it look like in your family? Um, they did have reportings. Um, police were notified as I grew up. Um, I believe it was two different times they came over and did an investigation and they didn't find anything. Mm -hmm. Nothing was reported. Um, you mean from the house that they found? Right. When they came in. At the time that the police came to your house, had you been living in the cage then? Yes. You had been living in the cage. Yes. Did you see the police when they came to your house? All I remember was a flashlight, mm -hmm. a bright light coming towards me, and I didn't know what it was. Did you ever think to tell somebody that this was going on at your house? No, it was normal to me. I thought every child went home and did that. Mm -hmm. So what was happening to the rest of your family? Same, they all got abused as well, but they you know, had freedoms. They mm -hmm. you know, got fed properly at a table and I was just downstairs. Mm -hmm. You were downstairs separated from them? What would the brothers say or do? Would they try to get you out of the cage? Would they make fun of you in the cage? What? No, I mean, I don't remember any of them taunting me. Um, I was locked in a closet once and the door was locked, um, but one of my brothers came and he let me out and we stole candy mm -hmm. and we tried to hide the wrappers and uh, my biological mother, she found them and that's how everything you know, took off from there. What do you mean took off from there? Um, she was furious that I was let out and that we got into the candy drawer. So um, I was sent downstairs to my cage. Um, mm -hmm. My two brothers were locked outside with no coats, no shoes, winter. Um, and you know, I was downstairs. I didn't mm -hmm. know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So do you think you've blocked a lot of those memories from that time? Because you wanted to block the memories right. exactly. from that time. Do you remember what you were thinking or feeling? Is that, are you in therapy now? Not currently, no. Have you been through therapy? Yes, off and on. Off and on. Do you remember what you were thinking and feeling as a little girl in that cage? Have you dared go back to those memories? No, I absolutely have not. It's a really painful place for me to be. And um, I really strive to go forward in my life and mm -hmm. to be happy and not be weighed down by such, mm -hmm. you know, such things. Yeah, but do you think you can, you, do you think that you will ever be able to completely move forward until you heal the wounds of the past and can look at it. Because the truth of the matter is, you've already survived it. You've survived the worst. So looking at it isn't nearly as horrible as having to live through it, right. you know? Yeah. So you're, you're, you're obviously a natural born survivor that you come out of that and you can put two sentences together. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.